Howdy. Um, this is, I'm going to go do, so today I think is day number five. I don't know. I've lost track. I need to be more organized about how I do things. But, um, hot mess woo -woo, of a car. So there's those three, the stacking storage bin containers that I've been using to store my stuff. I think I'm probably going to return them and go back to the original organized, uh, three compartment organizational bins. Um, it my, my uh, view through the weird rear view mirror is fine. I still have plenty. Um, so it's not because of that. I'm just like, I'm not sure. Um, anyhow, so as far as right now, what I'm, I'm going to do, drop a few items at the thrift store donation bin. So I'm giving away more stuff. <laughs> and actually one of those things that I'm giving away, sadly, I was like, oh, it took me a while to part with it. It was a, uh, like one of those beach chairs. Cause that, the beach chair that I have, it's a red one. That was my son's. Mine was the aqua, a teal one. So I'm like, oh, I, I know it sounds silly. I had to spend time with it. And it reminded me um, of a Mother's Day that we had at the beach when we were in Florida. Uh, we lived there for a little bit. But anyhow, so with that, I want to touch on the fact that giving, <laughs> like everybody, I think like, you know, when they're talking about, oh yeah, van life, camper life, whatever life, you know, um, hippie life, whatever you want to call it. Is this nobody talks about, or at least I haven't heard anyone mention about like the emotional aspects of clearing out your life. And again, I've mentioned many a times, I've always been a fairly minimalistic person. I've never been about hoarding or stuff. My grandmother was a hoarder, so that should tell you something. I'm anti everything hoarding. I'm like, give away. If I'm not using it, give it away. I was like, I'm not gonna uh, save things for someday. I'm like, if I don't use it, let somebody else make better use of it. And you know, let me clear out my life and make stuff for, room for for other things and so uh, it has been a uh not a difficult process but actually even before I cleared out the studio that I was in I had started separating and I did little mock trials of setting up my vehicle like multiple times like I would put stuff in the car people probably they probably mentioned this on a different video you know where my neighbors probably thought I was crazy because I would put stuff in the car go lay down for a bit be like hmm how is this going to work on a day-to-day -day life like you know try to reach for things that I use regularly and stuff like that and I was just saying then I would put this stuff back in uh back in the uh, back in the studio um uh I guess to go through and filter even more as to what I thought I was going to need so right now like I am to the most basic there are things um I guess like for school records back in the day when they used to give like the printed silla, syllabi, syllabus, 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 <laughs> syllabus is, um, for your classrooms. So I still have those. And so one of my projects again in this minute, um, in this downsizing, I guess, I don't even know what to call it anymore. Um, but is to scan those documents. Like I send the most important, most important, important things to my dad already, which were uh, pictures of my sons when they were babies and like a few pieces of clothing items. They might not care for them, but their future wives one day might. And so I just wanted to hang on to those mementos because I have carried those for the past, oh gosh, number of years in the different states that I've lived in. So, um, I was even thinking of scanning those, but I was like, it's always nice to have like physical copies of certain things, I guess, where you can like feel in touch. Uh, but it's right now, um, not sad right now, but I just wanted to point out and I'm like, the thing is, is that, um, I, I'm not, um, saving this stuff. I, there is a possibility. Okay. Yes. I could have rented a storage and I considered that even in renting out my car, oh, sorry, ripping out the car seats and doing the whole conversion and stuff like that. Yeah. Shit's easy to take apart, but I can't put stuff together again. You know what I mean? I probably could build out a platform. Um, but the thing is, is that if I didn't care for that setup, then I'm like, I'm probably not going to be the most special, uh, the handiest person when it comes to putting the seats back in. And I do take in mind that when replacing the seats, there might be some issues with the seat belt safety and things like of that sort that I'm not ready or willing to deal with right now at this time. And other, other people may have like a base they may have like a parent's base where they store their, some of their stuff and I'm like this is not one of those persons I was like whatever I have I can carry with me that is when I own that is what I have I really have no with the exception of those pictures because it was a maybe 18 by 12 box or so 
it, it, with the exception of that, that is in my dad's closet, I was like, I have nowhere to store anything. And so this is it. So it's really, so again, prior to clearing out the studio, I had started with that whole practice three weeks. I'm like, what do I need? What do I need? What can I give away? What do I not use as much? What do I really need? And it made me analyze my daily habits as to what, yeah, exactly that. What do I really need? And some of the stuff I, I had set aside um, in a little pile and it was so silly because I was pretty much like rotating things within the studio because I'm like okay I don't want this don't want not don't want this but I'm like somebody else can make better use of this somebody else can use this better or you know put this to better use than I am whatever that thing be like clothing items and things of that sort no I don't need 39 pairs of socks and so what I had said as my, as my daily challenge was I'm like okay we're gonna give away 10 things today what are those 10 things gonna be and so it made me, um, I guess maybe compare, not compare, but like, okay, so to reach that number 10, which sounds really, really silly, but I'm about challenges and about like, uh, concrete, I guess, you know what I mean? So I'm like, if I have to give away 10 things, what would those 10 things be? And I know this sounds silly, but I was like, if I were like some Bedouin, whatever, you know, traveling on a camelback, like back in the day, like they used to, and you could only literally carry or take with you what you could carry, what the, of those things would I want? And I was like, as we know, like even sometimes when people do like the, the, the through hike trails and stuff like that, they oftentimes leave things along the way because the weight to carry is just so much that they'd rather have the the freedom of lightness you know what I mean rather than those things weighing them down literally so that's where I'm at it has been an emotional process I'm kind of I guess over that part and thinking more of a practical matter uh, manner and that's exactly why I wanted to hurry up and get in the car and start uh, doing the car camping experience rather than waiting for later uh, because I knew that I was going to have to do more clearing out and I'm like I gave away my prized rice cooker and I'm like okay on the other hand and I'm like if I decide that I need one in the future because it's not going to do me any good here in the car I was like even with the um I know previously I had said I didn't do the inverter thing I did do one but uh a plug-in on the lighter which I will show later but the plug-in lighter inverter only handles a maximum of 300 watts the rice cooker I think would take like 15 is 1550 watts so obviously not enough uh wattage to support the rice cooker uh so gave that away <laughs> right now where I'm at I'm having a hard time partnering with my water kettle because I was like well maybe I could use it at work and this is what exactly what I'm talking about I'm trying to make space and store it in my little work compartment uh for some future use and I'm just like mm, I am gonna do that but eventually I know I'm gonna give it away and that's just to let it go in my heart because I'm like there has been I was like if there's nothing else that you buy in this world I was like a water kettle needs to be one of them it has been so practical to me and when I bought it I it was in 2018 my first time here in Wyoming and in a very uh we'll say challenging especially challenging uh, job uh, that I was at and so like I would make my coffees in the morning enjoy my time and so basically that water kettle has traveled with me for the past like four years now and and um sounds silly been through it with me I even gave away my coffee mug and I always have a favorite coffee mug and that's been my habit for the past like I don't know where I will buy one coffee mug and I will search for this coffee mug because it has to be like a certain size, like a 20 ounce, like wide rim, you know, like mega coffee jumbo mug. And I even gave away my coffee mug. So like now I'm, you know, been sharing with you drinking out of this, my $5, $5.99 coffee for the month. Um, but I just wanted to point that out. Um, so if you are going through a difficult time emotionally and letting go of your things, I say it's totally normal it's totally normal and I'm like because we do ascribe obviously meaning to the things that we buy or the things that we keep otherwise we wouldn't keep them if it didn't mean anything to us in some form of another it, we would we wouldn't keep those things obtain those things attain those things and I think that it is part of releasing um probably like sounds deep or unrelated but I was like it is those are things that make a part of our identity or that we allow to make a part of our identity but I have been intent for the past like decades already and I was like no matter how much li how little or how much I have I was like me as a person I am still worth the same and and so are you and so I have said that before because I have been carless I have had to use the bus my car got stolen it blew up I with the insurance it wasn't able to replace it I refused to take on payments so I took that bus for over a year and um 
though other people might be like yeah you know that was when i was in a city so it was still a little bit different but you know it was very difficult maybe for some people to comprehend they're like why don't you just go buy a car and i'm like no you know but sometimes the the opinions of other can grate on you even no matter how mentally strong you may be or how much you may not care but if you keep on hearing the same things over and over and over it does kind of get to you you know what i mean but i did not <laughs> i did not for that whole year i was on the bus me and my son were on the bus and i was like you know what no matter no matter if i'm stepping out of a, of a new vehicle or if i'm stepping out of the steps of a bus i am worth the same and that goes for you um feeling any emotional feelings emotionalness that you might be feeling and parting with your things i think is normal I've been through it and i just want to point that out and i hope that so what i did was is that so i separated things to one area and then i kind of rotated them like put them in the closet once i'm like you know yeah i'm okay with that pile of that pile being gone in my life because then i recognize that over the next number of days over the next week i wasn't touching those items and that's when i would put it in the closet and um so that way i wouldn't see it and so slowly clear things out of my life and then so the things that were in the closet once i got that contractor bag you know those big plastic bags or whatever i put everything in there and i'm like okay head and i would head straight to the um once i was um, ready to emotionally f finality the sense of finality to part with those things that's when i was like i'm like i'm going to the uh not grocery store to the thrift store and dumping them in those bins because once i put those items in those bins i cannot retrieve them let them be somebody else's let someone else come to this thrift store and let someone else find that beautiful painting you painted or the beautiful i made actually two handmade rugs and those were hard to part with um they were special to me and so or that beautiful comforter that i bought and and i was you know but i was like okay it has lived its life i have um made use of it trying to see things oh that's a waste of money i was like no okay i got my use out of it during the time that i had it and it filled my heart and it made my space look beautiful now let that be somebody else's